morning everyone. Today's going to be kind of a hit and miss day. Uh, we're getting a bit of a late start. It just uh, ended or stopped raining and it's supposed to be raining on and off all day long. So uh, we're just going to be cutting in between the rain storms or rain showers I guess and it's going to be a really long day because I have to make my loop today and we're still behind on our yard. So uh, Vicki will probably be with me to about five six o'clock something like that and then I'll take off and go on my loop. So uh, Let's get the trailer loaded up and let's get started. Okay, we're going along pretty decent this morning. We haven't gotten really rained on yet. A lot of dark clouds, but no rain on us. So we're gonna, we're kind of limping through everything. We're both kind of really tired from the week. So we've had uh, so much time off that we're now we're back full swing and working again. Well, we're not used to working that hard again. So it's gonna take about a week and then we'll be back to normal again. But <laughs> then it'll start slowing down. <laughs> it'll start slowing down again, yeah. So, or maybe it won't, I don't know. So eventually I'm gonna get a video of us on one of these yards. I'm not sure which one. And just that some, some of them you've seen several times and I just wanna get a video of us on a different yard that you haven't really seen. So off to our next yards things you see when you're cutting grass. Yes, that's the highway right there. Right, because that's what, that's what the... On the phone. Anyhow, I got a little damp on this one. Well, the, Halfway the thing is... Halfway through is the yard, it started raining, and it's really starting to come they're down They're going to tell them to ice it. That's what they're going to so, tell them to do. All right, well, I'll talk to you in a little bit then. All right, but... So I have a little story to tell. Can I finish recording? I, I'm going to record on this because this is kind of kind of a scenario that happens why you never let somebody try out your lawnmower. My brother-in-law lives down south, south in Michigan, south Michigan, south west Michigan, and his neighbor decided that he might think he might want a zero turn. So my brother-in-law, the nice man that he is said okay you can try out my zero turn he says well the guy told him that oh I've run equipment heavy operated equipment and bobcats and blah 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 so he gets on the mower and the mower's out of control and he's going spinning around and driving all over everywhere and the mower's not in control and so my brother-in-law chases after him My brother-in-law got hit by the mower and he went flying and he hit hit the ground. His legs all messed up. So then the, the guy keeps going. He never stopped. He keeps going and he ran into his garage and he smashed his garage all up and hit the wall in his garage. Now this happened on Tuesday and today's Friday and my sister in law my sister told him you need to go to the hospital because his knees all swelled and his ankles all swelled and it's bruised on the bottom of his foot. So he's up at the ER right now. So that's why you never let somebody try a lawnmower out if you're not sure what they're gonna do with it. And evidently the guy was not telling the truth because if he was running heavy equipment never would have happened and this guy's 75 years old so that you know that should have never happened nope he said he went blank he didn't know what to do so evidently <laughs> he's never run heavy equipment because a heavy equipment operator would not have had that problem so anyhow uh, this last yard that we just finished i uh, got a little damp on and it rained uh not too bad but about halfway through it started raining, so I just got damp. Now we're going to this next one and it's still kind of raining pretty good, so I don't know what's gonna happen here. Um, we're gonna probably go in front of the, sit in front of the house there for a minute and see what happens. And 
I think the rain might be over and we'll just uh it won't matter on this one because this oh. one's got a big field and a yeah. small yard so it won't take us that long and we'll just uh cut up you know cut this yard I'd like to get a video of here but uh with it raining like it is uh it's gonna be uh water specs on the screen I uh, know it'll kill a camera so oh. not waterproof so anyhow uh we'll see what happens at this yard that's what Vicky does when it starts raining. She gets in a truck by myself, sitting under a tree. Started just pouring on us. So I'm going to take a little bit of a break on a tree until it lets up a little bit. Uh, yeah, this is what I'm wearing. I got my sweatshirt on, my booty hat on, and my uh, sunglasses on. Because that's the only safety glasses I got out here with me. So it was, uh sun was shining before I started, and now it's raining. So, uh... Yeah, I'll be out here in a couple minutes. It should let up. Okay, I got that. <laughs> I got that yard done. I got out from under the tree when it let up. It still never quit really rain until I put the mower on a trailer and then it stopped. So it's happened uh, two yards. Well, I guess the last yard is skip, but uh, two out of the last three yards that's happened. So no big deal. A little bit wet and uh, everything's slowly greening up. Yeah, I made a clean your mower deck out. I haven't done that in a while. Yeah, I had to clean the mower deck out the first time in six weeks. So the grass is wet. It's a good thing. It's, a, it's all starting to green up. So since it's raining again, we're going to run home, eat some lunch, even though we're eh, only about an hour and a half behind where we wanted to be for lunch. And uh, I forgot what I was going to say again. Well, whatever. So we're going to go home, eat lunch, take a little break, and see what the weather's going to do. That's what I was going to say. So I'm going to go look at the radar and see where the clouds are at and which direction we're going to go. So see you after lunch. We just got done with a brand new yard. I underbid it a little bit, but it's too late now. It's already been, price has already been set. But I was going to get a video of it, and it was raining on us, so... It's not going to happen on that yard, so we're going to the next yard. Let's see what goes on with that one. That one's going to be wet in a ditch area, so hopefully I won't get stuck in there. But that's the one I was almost stuck in here a few weeks ago. Or a few weeks ago? A couple months ago, I guess now. So, on to the next yards. Oh, well, we just did a big, uh, big old huge yard that we do once in a while, ladies on call. And it's a pretty nice yard, but there's just a lot of stuff there. And, couldn't get a video there either so I have no video for today of any lawns so I gotta believe this video is gonna go into tomorrow okay the phone rang and uh, camera shut off so I am gonna have to uh, well I gotta work tomorrow anyhow so this video is gonna go into tomorrow so it's gonna be I usually can only, I can usually get the video done in and out in one day, but it's not going to work that way to this time. So it's going to be a little bit later on uh, when I upload it, but that's just the way it's going to be. So I guess I'll get back with you tomorrow. Okay, I'm on oh, stupid thing. I hate it when technology takes over. So today I'm on day number two of this video, and uh, it's warmer right now at 9 o'clock in the morning than it was yesterday all day. Yesterday it hit 60, that was it. And right now it's uh, 67 degrees and it's 9.15 in the morning. It's supposed to be hit up near 80 today, so we're back into the warm weather again. Um, we got a little bit more rain yesterday evening and that was it that was about the end of it we're supposed to get a little bit more tomorrow now we're gonna have a few more days of uh, no rain with the heat and uh, a little bit of rain that we've had it'll definitely make this grass grow up so today i am doing my loop around that i was supposed to do last night because by the time i got done dropping everything off it was seven o'clock and i couldn't have done everything before dark so i decided to go early this morning which i've got it half done already and then I have, uh, I think, four more lawns I have to do today that have to be done before the weekend here. And uh, actually, this is weekend. It's Saturday. 
but they just have to be done today so that I can get back on a, reg <coughs> a regular schedule of all the lands that we've been messed up for the past uh, month. It kind of all got bunched up and we're trying to spread them all out. So we're not doing all the lawns that we could do because we're just trying to spread them back out because there's a lot of every other weeks in there. And just because the way the grass grows in our area, there's a lot of them. So uh, I'm going to continue on with these uh, outbuildings and then uh, once I get the trailer all hooked up, I'll be more than likely getting a video because I don't think it's going to be raining at all today. Because yesterday it rained on every yard pretty much. So off to these next yards. Oh, today's one of them days I keep forgetting about the camera. Uh, you've seen this yard before, but I figure I better get a video on it, so I'll get you set up here. If you're right here next to me Something's wrong, wasn't it fun? Is it now we're done? You get dressed, I'm like a mess And you tell me to confess And you tell me to confess Oh I don't know what to say, what to do How to make you see This is nothing in real life It might just have been a bad dream 
You can run, you can hide, but you can't put the blame on me. Because you're acting like a volcano. Now we're over, that's a fact Phrasing light, see it all bright You were never right Back to life, apologize Too soon to say I'm fine Too soon to say I'm fine Oh I don't know what to say, what to do How to make you see This is nothing in real life It might just have been a bad dream you can run, you can hide, but you can't put the blame on me Because you're acting like a volcano Tending to be my savior Nothing you do can save us, save us Because you're acting like a volcano And make me feel outrageous You keep teasing me But you're not there Cause you're acting like a volcano Tending to be my savior Nothing you do can save us Save us Because you're acting like a volcano And make me feel outrageous You keep teasing me But you're nothing without me Okay, those two lines are done. It's nice to have Vicky with me there she does one lawn I do the next lawn so I was there for two hours which you know, by myself it's not too bad I guess because it is a really nice day out 75 degrees about 15 20 mile an hour breeze coming off the lake it's just a nice day to work in so now I have one lawn left and that'll be it for the day And one of these days, that first lawn, I'll get a start to finish on that thing. I always forget about that. So focused on what I have to do that I start doing everything and forget to set the camera out. So that lawn takes quite a bit. So anyhow, I forgot what I was going to say. So I'm going to go off and cut our last lawn and then uh, call it a day. Just left my last yard for my list today. And I actually have one more yard to go, but that's my own yard, and I don't get paid for that one. But it still has to be done because I don't want it to look nice all the time. So uh, I got a little tired on that last one, and I couldn't figure out why I'm so tired. And I realized this is Saturday, and uh, by the time I'm done today, I'll have uh, well, about eight hours in, I guess. So uh, I'm not used to working uh, six days a week, I'm used to working three or four. It was kind of nice for a while, but uh, now we got to get back to reality. So uh, that is going to be the end of my video for today. I thank you for watching and subscribing. If you can check out the links in the description box below, it would be greatly appreciated. Everybody have a good evening, and we will see you at the next yard.